I, that was that was my sister and one of my best friends in the world a second ago. So if you guys are done applauding. <laughs> Save me some reassurance in the car. Do you think they like him? Okay. Um, he's just talking. Where's his guitar? Is he gonna do this the whole time? Uh, this, this is something I like to do uh, before I do this stuff sometimes. So you can you can, you can follow along if you like. It's kind of for me. Sounds great. Uh, you just you sit there for a minute. Kind of lean back in your seat. So you just get comfortable. Shut your eyes. If, if you want. <laughs> All right, just keep breathing. Right, while you're breathing, just think to yourself, hey, that's the way I fucking like to breathe. <laughs> and if you're, ever, if you're ever stressed out, you're feeling funky, just remember, no one can keep you from breathing the way you fucking like to breathe. <laughs> now, think about that asshole on the other end of the bar. <laughs> Let it go. And always remember, you're probably someone else's asshole on the other side of the ball. <laughs> and you both have mothers who think you're very special. <laughs> Alright, one more breath. In with the air. Out with the bullshit. Thank you. Thank you for that. Alright. I, I really, I don't like people who look at their phones during performance, but I don't really like comedians at bars either, so uh, we're, in for, we're in for an interesting night. Um, okay, so it's actually, it's cool to be back in Lexington, because I, I moved to WKU for a theater degree about three years ago, but I lived here before that, so it's really cool to be back, it's in this beautiful, beautiful bar. Woo! Woo! Um, yeah, so actually, I do, I do improv there usually, so like I'm not gonna freak out on stage, but I'm used to there being like a back line behind me. I just feel like a rogue Teletubby up here by myself right now, <laughs> and I'm hoping I'm not Poe. Because <laughs> I, I wrote that joke, but I, I knew I hated Poe, but I wasn't sure why, and so I, I Wikipedia it, and this is this is real. She's the she's the red one with the triangle and the the scooter. She's got that like badass biker persona going on, uh, and th this is real. And um, when the when it first came out, it was it was kind of like halfway Japanese, halfway like American, so the scooter would come out and she would call it her cooter as it rolled across the screen. And I, I, I must react to that to a, to a, at a young age. That was an early fear that remains to this day. Uh, right, so, okay, so I'm back uh, in winter uh, with working with my dad. Uh, he is a carpenter, so I'm the son of a carpenter. Any allegory you want to make, I tell you guys. Yeah, yeah, good. Unlike Jesus, I have to go to my job. Yeah, every day. Um, so I had, I had in my head that because I was, I keep dropping out. You can do that if you want to. Um, I keep going back, too. Um, so I, I've like held down a real job for a long time. So I thought like going back to work with my dad, like I got it down now. And like I'm going to be like a responsible, hardworking person. Like five minutes after I get on there, I'm just... Looks good. All right. And then my sister here and my brother's been working with them long enough. So they kind of, they get, they get the whole gig. So over there like... Like just giggling with each other, uh, like speaking dwarf over like this anagram of like a like a kitchen sink, and I don't understand it. My dad's like looking at me. Just, just Because a screwdriver is the only thing I had! <laughs> Something like that. So this is, a, this is a new crowd. What do you guys What do you guys like to hear jokes about? What do you think is funny? Um, so, um, so, so joke about weed is what I'm hearing. Yeah, that was called the illusion of choice. So, uh, so I, I, okay, I, it's hard for me because I look like a very friendly neo-Nazi who, who smokes a lot of cannabis. And I did that to myself, so I can't, I can't blame anybody for making that assumption. 
but I don't really like pot. Like, I, I really, I want to, and if I could, I would just be smoking dudes with the best of them. I would. Uh, but it freaks me out, and it's not, it's not anxiety, it's, it's just like crippling fear. <laughs> just like I'm never so concerned about the state of the world, and my friends' feelings towards me, or even if I could like walk my way home at that point if I absolutely had to. Um, and, but they like it, like they, they are so into it, and it's like I'm walking up to a movie that they've gone to a hundred times, and they love this movie, it's such a good film. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll watch it with you guys. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll watch it. Oh, Friday the 13th, this looks great. Uh, and then they'll, they'll be like, oh, this is my favorite part. I'm like, are we watching the same movie? This is awful. And then in credits roll, they're like, we had a good time, right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got for the night. So thank you guys, you guys are awesome.